Hello everybody, my name is Margie and welcome back to Horror Game Outlast. So in the last episode we witnessed a lot of things. We saw the death of Father Martin. He was crucified on a cross and he sacrificed his life for his own beliefs forever. Whatever they, they were. After that we witnessed the murder of Chris Walker. The wall rider himself killed him. After that... During our escape, we stumbled upon the top secret Murkov Corporation facility and we watched the murder of Chris Walker in this facility and after that we found this guy, an old guy in a wheelchair, I don't know who he is, but he said that we need to go back upstairs to the asylum to kill Billy. Who is Billy? We're gonna find out that today. So let's get started. Now I thought, I was assuming that that could be the original, the true Dr. Wernicke. I'm not sure. So far I thought all of the time that Dr. Wernicke was that guy that was skinned alive. We weren't here. Yeah, this is this just opened and closed at the same time. This is B-Block. Don't, don't mind the mess, this is just a normal thing. A few guys are joining in. This is normal, this is a okay, cafeteria, right? You're hungry? Want some raw flesh? Oh. Are these your pillows? <laughs> Morphogenic engine chambers. We're gonna actually go to Morphogenic. We're gonna... Hello, what happened here? Hello. Anyone alive? Anyone in sector in the whole... part? Let's open door number A. My god. I think the wall rider killed all of these people. Or at least what's left of them. Hello. One person or two? One and a half. What's this camera. My god. My god, there was a massacre. No one survived. I'm looking, I'm trying to figure out on what happened or I'm trying to find some clues or anything. But all the all crime scenes are um, without any clues, without any traces, without any familiar thing. They're all just body parts, cuts, and blood. This was all done by a wall rider. How do I know? Because there is no gun. Gun, uh, gun holes in walls. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> All victims just exploded. Only signs of pure violence. No, 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 oh shit, no, oh. I wanted to, to, to move, but I couldn't. What I wanted to say a minute ago, we can, we can, you can only see Ball Rider when we turn on night vision on our camera. Let's run. Yep, let's go. Okay, I thought it needed to go. Yes, the old trick used the ventilation. Yeah, 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 okay. Oba. Hmm. It's... I'm trying to figure out on, on what I'm feeling when I see this. It's, it's too clean. You know, this facility is too clean. Everything is on its place. I'm missing the old asylum and all the blood. This is like... 
how to say, it's strange to see. Everything's so clean and tidy. And these horrors doesn't fit in this. <laughs> I thought that he's gone, that he was gone. So he's in patrolling the area, huh? Maybe I didn't see him because... I mean, if I'm using... Night vision is too bright. I want to save my eyes and yours. You know what? Let's leave him behind. So our current mission is to find Billy in the main laboratory. Billy. Maybe, maybe Billy is the guy who actually Activated the morphogenic engine. Hey, this is not what the hell? Okay. So he's not opening doors, which should be logical. I really thought that he won't enter here. Huh. We need to somehow get to this other side, but how? Let's make a question. Okay. We can squeeze through these tanks. Not through, by them. Is he right? Should I close the door? No, this doesn't make any sense. Okay. I think he can go through these metal doors. I hope. But I think that he could be able to teleport himself or go through a floor. Uh -huh, documents. There we go. Active? No. You're gonna read documents. You're gonna be safe. Yeah, I think now is the time. Gods and monsters. Note to all personnel from Consulent MM008, Rudolf Wernicke. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to newly influence your beliefs. Any sentiment being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. So you need to believe only. True facts or evidence or something that's proven. Morphogenic engine. Bill is probably inside. Which is this is table now. Finally something stable. What the I heard doors unlocking. I thought that someone is uh, getting in. Yeah, I could record this to get some notes. Yeah. Wernicke's machine, the assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules. Vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted. Not early enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, and this. Find him and kill him. That doesn't sound too hard. So this is one of the cells, probably. Was that? Yeah, this is the original cell. What are these? What are these? Uh, I mean, it looks like a partic dust particle. You know, from your normal <laughs> bedroom floor. Turn off the valve for the life support. Fluid reservoir. Is Billy? Does Billy serves as um, 
It's a gateway from for wall rider to come from the other dimension. Is this a wall rider? Is Billy a wall rider? Is he you know telekinetic like, telekinetic powers? Or something similar? His heart rate is quite up. What is he watching with? Does he, does this make any sense? I mean, this is normal brainwashing. Brainwashing at its finest. Okay, let's check the documents. Morphogenic engine chamber precaution. Mm, maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1. The enriched ox oxygenated perfluorocarbon <laughs> what the fuck Perf perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced th through the course of the patient's treatment no that op also supplies anesthetics any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment so he's being dragged all the time to not feel any pain Vital system 2. Electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital system 3. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the life pod fail safe will engage maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling fail safe will result in immediate patient termination. So we need to disable fail safe system. Because if you turn off vital system 1 and 2, this will happen. No, the life save system will save him, but uh, when we turn on off that system, we're gonna we're gonna get a nice little red Christmas ball that you put up on uh, on a Christmas tree, or at least looks looks like that. Hey, want to say something? I was expecting a. Anyone in here, especially crazy guys. I think that we need to go up here. The control room should be on top. Usually, it's overlooking the experiments or any other machine. Okay, we need to go through that door down below. <laughs> Can I jump? No, I need to. Eat. Sublab generator. Yeah, there's a. I said there, there must be some. This is probably the main control panel. What the? I thought it's someone is up there. Life support app. That's what we need. I mean, there's no point in closing doors, but uh, I'm gonna leave, it, leave them open. I mean, this facility is huge. This is really a top secret project. Whoa! This is unusual splatter. I mean, the size of it is unusual. It's much bigger than the... It's like an elephant blow up. It's a lot bigger than the usual ones that we saw in the hallways, right? Maybe the magnitude of attack was... Um, larger. Or more powerful. Uh-huh. More papers. The modern Prometheus. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, the modern... Blah, 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 learn from me, if not by the, my precepts, at least by an example, how dangerous is the acquire, acquirement of knowledge and how much happier that modest man than who he aspires to become greater than his nature. What did I just read? Learn from me, I'm not... Blah, blah, at least by... The, how dangerous is the acquirement of how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge? And how much happier that modest man than he was part to become greater than he did. Hey? 
I mean, you you are happier the the dumber you are, <laughs> because if you are if you are smarter, then you need to worry then you worry about more things than usual. <laughs> I mean, it sounds maybe harsh for a second, but you know, I think it has some point in that sentence. Do not turn this well. Yeah, let's interrupt the life support reservoir. Cut off electric supply. From sub lab generator. And now we need to go to the door that we're locked. Oh shit! Usually he has a fog around him and you can see it clearly without using camera, but okay, we're good. I'm just hoping he's slower than us. Dude, can you help me? Can you distract him for a second? Okay, doors are open, that's good. As long as we keep moving, we're good. What the? Okay, go, go. I just slow these little cracks. Okay. I close the door, I don't know. Just in case. Maybe just a little bit of a hope. I mean, is he, is he using the stairs as we are? I mean, he can fly, right? Maybe he's already on top. Okay, I'm trying to make no mistake. Go, go, go. Okay. I want to stay forever in this room. Contamination zone. E block. We are making progress from B to E. Documentos. Give me that. Let me hide under a disk. Let's read. Permission to proceed. Please find it attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Merkel Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massey Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wernicke, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. So this Billy has enormous therapeutic potential. In other words, he witnessed a lot of nasty things. He's kind of crazy. He's probably mentally tough enough to endure all of that um, craziness. Because he has enormous potential. And he submitted to the experiment with the understanding of financial remuneration. He, he applied for this... Um, Experiment to be a guinea pig, maybe to save his mother and give a charitable contribution to her church. Church. Maybe that's why we are seeing all of the crosses, you know, the fate and that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Disables Bill. Life support. I thought that we were disabling that thing now. By cutting off power. Now that's probably just the fail system too now. Now we need to turn off fail safe system. That's the thing. He's again he's No! He's playing with us. 
<laughs> okay, we get we, we a lot. We get we missed two fingers, but we're okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, it's strange that he, he didn't kill us. And now, where we, uh, how to turn off that thing? Life support, probably in this room? I don't know. No! Yeah, I don't know where I need to go now. Life pod. Maybe on a life pod. Yeah, just plug the wires from the from the from his bubble. Eh? This? This? No? This? Okay. Come on, I want to survive to see this. Don't die on me now. Come on, guy, explode. No, the camera. This is the morphogenic engine. The morphogenic engine is a candidate that saw a lot of crazy things, but he's mad and he serves as a... as a... I'm gonna say it like a power supply for this morphogenic engine to work. And the morphogenic engine is a machine which opens the gateway to another engine. And by closing this door, the wall rider stop existing doesn't make any sense because we just close the gateway we close the door that shouldn't kill the wall rider but maybe he's connected with his imagine on, on some kind of a level but either way we killed Billy we killed the main thing that was needed for this engine to work I think it's over now it should be over. Get out, huh? Oh, this is gonna be a long trip. Don't pass out on me now. Come on. Eat an energy bar or something. I think that we are wounded. I mean. We lost a lot of blood by losing when when we lost fingers, and we just got a beat down. We went through a beat down. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we have camera on with us. Doors don't close. Come on, come on, come on, hold on, hold on, you can do it, you can do it, come on, you can do it. I mean, I'm surprised that we even survived all of this tossing around. Oh no. Of course! No!
We went through all of that just to get shot at the end. You kidding me, right? We got shot. And what's the what's the saying? We got him, and you become the host. Did he? Was that guy in a wheelchair referring to us? That we are the host now, but now we should be dead. We got like 15 rounds in our chest. So this is it. I'm kind of... No, I don't want it to end. I really thought that we would um, tell the truth to the world. No, we got shot. Damn it. All of this pain through the whole game. All the horrors that we went through. Just to get shot? I mean, it's not the... It's about getting shot. It's about the end that we died at the end. And all, and we, we didn't achieve anything. We didn't... Um, we didn't tell the world on what's, what was going on here. I really thought that we would escape. No, we were so close. Like two times we were escaping and always the game is just like, no, you need to go down here. We were really close to getting out um, with an elevator, but somehow miraculously we, we went down to the to this facility. Ah, uh, who is this guy in a wheelchair? The guy is still... Well, wait, in the previous episode he told us that he wants to die. Why? I mean, he lied, obviously, because he's alive. He came down here with soldiers to kill us. Maybe he wanted for us to kill Billy. Because War Rider wanted to kill... Or maybe Billy wanted to kill that old guy in a wheelchair. We killed Billy and now we are the new host. Probably War Rider wanted to kill him. Or maybe Billy. Maybe wanted, maybe Billy wanted to kill the old guy in a wheelchair because he tricked him. Maybe Billy found out that his mother had a cardiac arrest. I kind of doubt that. We can be sure. We can only just guess on what's going on. So overall, the ending is something I really didn't expect. I didn't expect to get in a top secret facility of Mercury Corporation to see the Wall Rider, especially Wall Rider. This game started. We started this game. Like a journalist going to the asylum. Okay, we eventually find found out what's really happening there. But I really thought that the game will be only about um, crazy guys, lunatics, violence, escaping, fighting through the asylum. In the moment we saw the Wall Rider for the first time, it was like a little bit of, um, you know, unrealistic. It it um, corrupted or destroyed my vision about this game being only played in Asylum, you know. But now, with when the game finished, with all of this uh, Mercury Corporation Wall Rider. Mm, morphogenic engine everything has sense now and is good I like it I mean Mercury Corporation was conducting experiments we try with morphogenic engine we testing uh, a lot of different techniques on people especially Dr. Wernicke if, if Dr. Wernicke is the guy who cut our fingers off he was also um, conducting some experiments by researching human bodies in some sort of a way. I don't know why he mut mutilated bodies of patients. Why was he doing all of these experiments in the first place? Because you don't need mutated bodies for... Um... Oh, I know. The mutated bodies or body parts, like legs and arms, were, were direct side effect of changing the molecular uh, construction of cells. 
That's why, because that guy in a wheelchair. We we read somewhere that the morphogenic engine was changing the molecular. Okay, I just add up molecular. It was changing cells to produce a certain hormones, and that's why they the guys from the beginning, all of the mutilations and the, all of the you know um, transformations, not m mutations. On the, on the bodies, they were side effect of those treatments, of testing the cells and everything. And the game is loading forever. For a game that's, well now, almost 10 years old, how much? It's good. It's really well made. I like the jump scares, I like the sound. When we started, it had a nice... Um, the theme, the theme, the environment, you could feel it. You could feel the, the scares, the, the tension, you know? I really, I, the only thing that I didn't kind of like the fact that the AI could see us in the complete dark or behind doors. We had a couple of, you know, these cases, but overall, I, we can't, I can't take that, uh, I can't take that, um, uh, to heart. Let's, let's give it a rating from 1 to 10. 7, maybe 7.5. Just because the story seems kind of... Um, maybe that was my expectation when I started the game. That's one thing. I need to be as objective as I can, you know. I started the game playing in a mad ma in a madhouse. We ended with the Bull Rider Ghost and similar. But overall, 7.5. Why not? But overall, I'm happy. I'm really happy that we played that. So next thing, we're gonna play the DLC Whistleblower, which is a prequel to this Outlast 1. And we're gonna see, as I remember from the description of the DLC, of the summary, that we're gonna see the live testings, or what actually hap what was, or, or what was actually happening in this... Asylum. We're gonna we're gonna play the engineer, yeah, who worked on the on the project Wall Rider. I mean, when I say it's gonna be more fun, maybe it's gonna be probably more interesting because we're gonna be at the center of the happening of the project. You know, we're gonna witness all of it. We're gonna see all of the things that are being uh, made, all of the you know works and how it's called. Operations. Now, I don't know. I know. I, I'm not gonna even try to guess. We're gonna, we're gonna see that. So, if you want to stay tuned for that DLC whistleblower, you can always subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. If you want to support the channel and if you want to rate this video, you can always give it, uh, or smash that like button. You can click a like. <laughs> so with this, all of this said. One more time, I'm really glad that we uh, play this, that we sh that I share this experience with you guys. And with that said, this is all for me for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.